today's video is for mothers that are seeking alternative healthier formulas for their babies i am going to be showing you how to make mixed grain pap it is a staple in every nigerian home and i decided to bring it to your screens today and you know how it is made the main ingredients for this is the guinea corn and i bought this quantity of guinea corn for a thousand five hundred naira this is what it looks like so that you will not be confused when you get to the market i bought yellow corn as well and this is 1500 naira quantity of yellow corn and this is what it looks like i also bought millet as well and this is a thousand five hundred naira quantity of millet now you would want to mix everything together that is where the name mixed grain is coined from you proceed to washing with very clean water i should tell you that this comes very dirty and if you are going to be giving this to your babies and the people at home you would want to wash thoroughly look at me just doing this washing and washing thoroughly and you can see the dirt that i brought out from this mixed grain you want to repeat this process for up to three times always make sure to drain and check the bottom of the bowl you are using to wash look at this this is sand so that is why i said you have to be careful and wash thoroughly i am done washing my corn my millet and my guinea corn it is time to put clean water and set it aside for day one I will let this sit for a whole day till the next day. The next day. This is the next day. And as you can see, it is beginning to ferment. I should educate you guys and let you guys know that fermentation was one of the ways that our African descendants preserved their food. I will proceed to washing it thoroughly. I would wash this thoroughly and I will fetch clean water and set it aside again for day two of fermentation. The next day. This is day two and I'm here to repeat the process of washing. You can see the bubbles on top and I will let you guys know that this is so good for the production of the pap. Many years ago, before the advent of refrigerator, our African descendants used fermentation as a means to preserve their food. It preserves the nutrients and it makes the food last even longer. So don't fret when your mixed grain is bringing up bubbles and is having an awful fermentation smell. It lets you know that your pap is actually going to be a really really nice one now I am done washing and I will set aside again for day three the of fermentation day. I am adding a little twist to this my mixed grain pap I am going to be using tiger nuts I'm also going to be using dates as well and I will be using ginger this is actually going to make this pap really creamy and yummy for my children and my household. I proceed to removing the seed from the dates. This is my preference. I don't know about you, but if you want the seed, you can actually leave the seed because you are all going to be blending it. Now, this is the final day of washing and I am going to be washing my fermented mixed grain properly. I mean properly because after this, I will proceed to grinding it. Now I will proceed to putting in my washed ginger, my dates, 
and my tiger knot as well and this is what it looks like this pap i'm about to make it is going to be so sweet so yummy you wouldn't even need any artificial sugar to make it sweet i will add my clean water and cover this up i will take this and i will head to the local grinder shop near me note not all machines can actually grind corns and that's why i prefer using the local grinder shop because it does the work for me for the quantity of mixed green pap that i brought to him he charged me 1200 to actually grind it note grinding could be less in your area but also note most importantly that tell the grinder to grind your mixed grain three times to get the smooth paste I will be using this net clothes to sieve the pap and also this one as well to form the pap but also sieve the pap now this is the pap after blending you can see how creamy it is but don't worry we are going to add lots of water to this while we are sieving it the first way of sieving your pap is by doing it this way which I think it is such a long process but I still decided to show you guys as well you will spend your time doing this and doing this for such a long time that your back may begin to ache you but this is another way of doing it that is so seamless you put it into the bag that you can use to form the pap and you shake it and shake it and shake it you keep doing this repeatedly you add water into it you drain it keep draining it make sure the clothes you use for this is a net like clothes a slim net like clothes because it helps drain out the water and you keep doing this and doing this to get the shaft out of the pap this is the shaft that came out from the pap and we will do the process repeatedly this process wouldn't take so much time here is the pap that we got but guess what it is mixed with wood. my baby was in the kitchen with me while i was doing this process and she thoroughly enjoyed it allow the pap sit till the next day the next day here is what the pap looks like the next day the water has come up and you can see the pap is below I have called my people to come and assist me to drain out the water on top. We will take this out because I don't need it anymore. I will be flushing it and you can see there is a whole lot of pap down there. Continue sieving out the water until you can see the pap in its liquid form. It is time to turn your pap into the transparent bag that will help solidify the pap. Some people will leave it in this form, but I like it in the solid form. But I will remain some in this basin for the liquid form as well. I will do this and put it into this bag so that it will drain the water out of the pap that helps it solidify. I would tie my bag properly and put a stone on it to help with the draining of the water overnight. I put a wood beneath it just to help it while it drains. The next day. This is the next day and this is the Ziploc bag I am going to be using to store my pap. I remove the stones from the pap. This helps it drain the water out of the bag. And this is what it looks like right now. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, here goes my pap in a solid form. Hmm, I just created magic here.
going straight into sectioning my pap into different ziplock bags. I removed some of the pap in the basin yesterday as I didn't completely drain it out. I am going to be putting this liquid one in a plastic bowl as it is for immediate consumption. I will go in now and write the production date on the pap as I will be storing it in the freezer and this can last you for over 3 months. I will be giving out some to Jidena and Olana which are Oin Peperenzi's twins. And yeah, at this point, I am actually done. If you like to see more videos like this on my channel, please do well to like, share, subscribe as well. Turn on your post notification so that you'll be noticed anytime I post a new video. Thank you for coming along with me with Bumsy's Pap Production today. And I definitely will see you guys in my next interesting vlog. Bye!